Good morning YouTube friends, I'm Jackie and this is Gone Potty Gardening. As you can see behind me is our little cottage. Um, we moved here in 2016 and in that time we've been improving the inside and neglected this frontage really. So what I'm going to do is create a DIY cheap fence that looks nice along the outside of here because it was full of um, stingy nettles, rotten wood, although in the summer it looks lovely we've got roses amongst it but I'm leaving the roses but taking out the dead wood and as you can see it's left a lot of patches. This is um, a really good example of it actually, it's all growing out, hundreds of stingy nettles and I mean this conifer is getting quite high so I'm going to take them all out and just have a plain frontage but I'm going to build a fence along there now what I've already done is brought some of these fence posts um, I'm doing a bit at a time because that's the only way I can do it really the way that I can do it properly you know there's moss along the walls there but I'm going to leave that because I like that I think it's you know part of the furniture really it gives it character <laughs> girls are enjoying the sunshine this morning I know over in the UK it's absolutely horrendous rain but over here it's nice it's a lovely day for a change so Grace is uh, taking in the sunshine aren't you girl <laughs> she's lovely she's uh, Tilly's absorbing all the sunshine aren't you girl <laughs> So what I did during the week is I went down to the local shop and ordered some of this wood and it's already treated but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna burn it so it gives it a bit of character. There is a name I'll put it up in the picture in a minute. Um, you can use it in crafting as well it looks amazing but it also prolongs the life of the wood. Now le these lengths are about 16 foot and they're four inches wide by one inch thick so what I'm going to do first is burn all this now I'm just going to be using this um, weed burner really um, people do use the bigger ones that are on a proper big gas bottle but I haven't got one of those so I'll be using the garden burner I actually love the way that it shows the grain up in the wood and it's natural isn't it so it should look nice it'll probably fade over time so I suppose if you wanted to you could varnish it and actually you could use something like that indoors I think couldn't you for shelving it looked lovely 
So what I've done is I've measured from the wall down here up to there and the same with every, every one that I've done. And I used a tri-square to do the measurement there. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. What I'll do at the end, I've got a little bit of sticking up wood here. I should buy a thin lamp, you know, the really thin lamps and probably use the um, angle grinder with the wood shaving bit on it and make it all rustic and jagged. But anyway, here's the fence so far. Looking quite good, I thought it really pleased me myself. <laughs> Anyway, we have to have a fence because, as you can see, this is the garden and there's a big drop over the wall into a busy road. Well, it's not particularly a busy road, but <clears throat> the dogs could easily get in the road and get knocked over. So behind this, I put um, some chicken wire. Well, that was already here actually, but I've just stapled it to the back. But as you can see, I've got a lot to do yet, look. Like I said, I think the, um, the thing about projects, you know, is to take your time and don't stress over getting it all done in a day. And I think that's one thing I've learnt. So, you know, and you have much more enthusiasm and energy if you take your time and do it properly anyway that was just a short video but um hopefully i'll get it finished and i can show you the rest when i've done it but there's a lot to do like i say but um and we've got quite a bit of rain on the way i think so what i'm going to do is get the rest of those planks burnt because you can't do that in the rain and it's perfect day for doing it really so i'm going to spend the rest of the day doing that and in, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everyone. See ya. Bye. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.